Now it's Cross going for the far post from Billingsley to Ashworth. Piece of skill from Cedar It's the tie-in. It's both home. The Gauchos up three to one.
it flicked on, and a save, rebound, score! Will Mina makes it 2-0 and UCSB on the rebound. Which is going to have to make sure they mark up tight on set pieces. I think that's where it's How about really nice play. Oh!
there by Bainham. Bainham now to Ballard McBride. Gotcha is breaking in. Ballard McBride! catches up to him. Beautiful defense by Noah Billingsley. That was why he, one of the big reasons he was on the New Zealand U23 team. Yabara dispossessed. Finally. Before mentioned injury to Rodney Michael. If you want to even call that a shot. I don't know if they will. Fletcher collides and it's a turnover. Here's Falk. Falk lays it into space. Roach may be challenged. He is the shot and it's kept out but it's rebounded in. The whistle goes. The Gauchos trying to get the equalizer. Candia the freshman. Moves in, shoots, Gauchos have tied it! That's why I think coaching staff is, is trying to go more direct because he just knows they haven't played, which is their sharpest tonight. And this is Cervantes getting right by Finn Ballard McBride. Cervantes is shot, score! Irvine has beaten UCSB 2-1. Great save there by Muntari Candia. Flicks it forward once again. Muntari with the right boot this time. Played down by Hansen. Garibay goes up for the punch. And UCSB is going to get away with a goal there. Lukovic bends it around for just to knock it over. Great save by goalkeeper Ben Roach. An absolutely beautiful strike there from Frankie Lukovic. And the Zags ready for another corner here. into the middle, and it's scored by Will Batum. Rodney Michael, a great pass along the ground. He beat his man, and was able to create some space. Will Batum was right there to nestle it into the left side of goal. And Noah Billingsley, and then Tor tries to play it out of his defense after he caught a pass by Billingsley. And now here's Candy with the chance. Candy on his left foot, can he make it two? He does! The Gauchos, 13 minutes in, lead two to nothing. 
well offside is Will Bainham. Candia towards the far post. Hunter Ashworth was on the end of that one. Or at least he was trying to be here. And this is going to be a ball that's spilled into the net. It's deflected off of a Fullerton player. Rodney Michael took the shot from the top of the box. And the Gauchos now, almost shockingly, inside the first 29 minutes of this game, lead three to nothing. That before Will Bainham gets stuck in and is able to get the ball back. Here's Bowden McBride has a chance to make it four, and he does! Bowden McBride continues his great start to his Division I college career by making it 4-0 at Titan Stadium. The Australian has been on fire for UCSB as of late. Six goals in their first nine games. Thibaut Candia's cross comes in, it goes into the net. It's Hunter Ashworth who gets his head to it at the far post. And he makes it five past Fullerton. UCSB running away with this one in the 67th minute. Again. Ninth minute of play. Here comes a cross from Billingsley. Bainham has a chance. Can that go into the net? It does! Finn Bad McBride has given the Gauchos the immediate reply. UCSB 1-1. Stadium for another chapter of the Blue Green Rivalry. And have we got a game here for you? An absolutely massive crowd is gathered here in San Luis Obispo. Michael's got numbers out wide. And it's a 2-0 lead for the 
got a lot on the line here besides just the championship in terms of postseason consideration. This has been a group that's done great on the road. Uh, this is a group that defends the box well, and uh, I don't think we've had this much attacking presence in, in a number of years. We've had a good week of training, and uh, I think, as you saw last game, we're starting to play some really nice soccer as well, so I think uh, everyone's excited for the game, and it should be a really good contest. Get to the game. It's a, it's a competition. NCAA starting now. It's real stuff. And uh, yeah, be there. Yeah, it's exciting times, and uh, we've been working really hard throughout the season and in post uh, preseason. So I I feel like it's only rewarding that we're in the tournament, and we just have to go out there on Thursday and get the win, and hopefully keep getting the wins until we make the final four. I think it's a great opportunity for us to showcase what we actually got. Obviously, the last game was you know didn't go our way. We had a, a few of the main guys missing, but uh, you know with them here now and uh, with the. With the run that we've had this year, I feel like we're a lot stronger and we've, uh, we've done a lot of growth over the past uh, two, two months, two and a half months. So. Gauchos taking on the Cal Bears. Gauchos on three. One, two, three. Gauchos. can stop them today. We're off from the NCAA tournament second round. Gets towards the six yard box once again where St. Mary's deals with it, but more trouble there for St. Mary's and kind of a nervy moment. 
Now there's a shot from Rodney Michael off of the touch from Hunter Ashworth at the top of the box, but then that was palmed away by Freer. It's 5-7 and 5-8 defending this ball from Ignacio Teachia. And the Gauchos have the size advantage inside. It whips towards the far post. It's knotted down by Ashworth, and it's put in the back of the net by Noah Billingsley. The Gauchos look to ruin St. Mary's party, and they're just getting started here at the St. Mary's Stadium. They lead 1-0. We were talking about how dangerous it is when the Gauchos put this ball in the box. It's a great ball from Teachia on the back post. Mid towards the top of the 18 by Sam Fletcher. Great bounce here. He's Kaya Fabretti. He can't get the second bounce off to his favor. Here's Batum for two. Will Batum has put the Gauchos up by two goals at St. Mary's. And just something out of nothing for the Gauchos. Fabretti takes a chance. On the center back, deflects the long ball up in the air. Ball bounces down and lays it off for Bainham. Ball bouncing on the St. Mary's side of things. He got over the head of uh, Valentin Kurz. Now here's Michael on the right side. Rodney Michael, 70th minute. The Gauchos are up 3-0. Pass the midfield line into Rudell. Into the midfield again it goes for Kurz. And the Gauchos win the ball right back. Fabretti forward for Rodney Michael. Michael trying to make a statement. One more goal for the Gauchos. It's 4-0. UCSB, you're on the road to Indiana. And I said that Rodney was going to get another break, and there it was. Turnover in midfield. St. Mary's exposed down 3-0. And time will tick down. The Gauchos, they got revenge against Cal on Thursday. They get revenge for 2018 against St. Mary's today at the St. Mary's Stadium. The revenge tour's next stop. Bloomington, Indiana. Isn't it sweet? The Gauchos are in the Sweet 16. his turnover to try to win it and UCSB has knocked off the Hoosiers their leading goal scorer will bait him off a turnover and the Gauchos are moving on yeah I'm really excited for the game eight teams left it's getting down to crunch time all the teams are good now Wake Forest has a history of being one of the best in the country so it should be a really good game and I'm really excited for it. I think the whole team feels good. We gotta keep going on the way we did uh, early on in the tournament and uh, hopefully we'll be fine. I think uh, the boys are all excited to be you know, at this stage of the tournament. I feel like we've had a couple of days to really prepare ourselves and uh, everyone is mentally ready for it. It should be exciting.
up right now. Muntari had some space in front of him there, Carson, if he wanted to take it, but instead played it back to the center circle. He had a diagonal run to his left if he wanted it. Now this is trouble for CSUN, the rhythm that the Gauchos are in. Very mature, very patient, not forcing it. So need to. Quite a possession by the Gauchos. Yeah. Ready now. Back to Billingsley. Billingsley trying to take the angle inside. Back to Ferretti. Good ball by Kaya to Billingsley. Billingsley, top of the 18, lays it off, gets it back. Can he serve it? He does. Plays it back. And it's hit and in by Rodney Michael. Two to nothing. You see his lead as Lewis came off his line and that ball went over his head. What a save by Andrew Thomas. Rodney Michael trying to keep it going. His shot scores. Turnover to try to 